Senator Pacquiao, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chairman. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The problem of our country with regard to drug trafficking and drug abuse has grown into an emergency situation that now merits urgent action. Kailangan na siguro nating uh, magpasa ng batas na, pup na pupugsa punto por punto sa lumalala nating problema sa droga. There is now a need uh, to enact uh, a measure that will decisively repress, repress these heinous crimes. For this reason, I filed Senate Bill Number 185, an act of impose the death penalty and increase the penalty in certain dangerous drugs crimes, amending for that purpose other special penal laws and for other purposes on the basis of Article 3, Section 19 of the 1987 Constitution, which state, uh, states that excessive fines shall not be imposed, nor cruel, degrading, or inhuman punishment. Inhuman punishment, in pan, punishment inflicted. Neither shall that penalty be imposed unless for compelling reason involving heinous crimes. The Congress hereafter provides for it. This particular section has been debated upon the framers, uh, the, the framers of our Constitution. Father Joaquin Bernas wanted to abolish the imposition of the death penalty. He proposed the section 19 be written as Excessive fines shall not be imposed, nor cruel, degrading, or inhuman punishment inflicted. Death penalty already imposed shall be commuted to reclusion perpetua. However, Commissioners Arturo Padilla and Christian Munsod opposed to this uh, proposition. During the deliberations, they advocated to add the exemption in imposing the death penalty by adding to the provision. <laughs> Unless for compelling reasons involving heinous crimes, the Congress hereafter provides for it. Their suggestion prevailed and was adopted by the Commission. True enough, this provision becomes relevant and useful in our ongoing war against drugs crimes. The provision speaks in clear language in granting Congress the authority to push for measures to reimpose the death penalty for compelling reasons. It is of my humble opinion that our current problem over heinous crimes related to the trafficking and abuse of dangerous drugs falls within the bounds of this constitutional limitation. <coughs> Hence, in my proposed measure, I introduced some amendments to Republic Act number. 165, known as the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. Senate Bill 1856 to provide certainty of punishment and more severe penalties to drug traffickers. For example, Section 4 of RA 9165 uh, penalizes only the so-called drug mules that made no mention of the criminals orchestrating this illegal trade. Hence, I added in my proposed measure to also impose penalties to those who shall import or bring or force, intimidate, direct, instruct, or otherwise cause another person to bring into the country any dangerous drug, regardless of the quantity and purity involved. Moreover, Section 11 of RA 9165 imposes the penalty of life imprisonment to death penalty for those who will be caught in possession of 50 grams or more of shabu has been reduced to 10 grams in Senate Bill number 185. Procedurally, the present bill is being filed separate from similarly intended bills for other kinds of crimes in order to move the bill forward with focus and unburden by more lengthy consideration of other crimes. This will allow for a, for a timely opportunity to stop the nation's growing problem over crimes related to the trafficking in abuse of dangerous drugs. The Senate must be clear in its intention to deter dangerous drug crimes and to and told the warning bill that the country will now fight back 
to reign the good of its people, the meaning of its future. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. And that's the the bill that I'm going to I'm trying to uh, to pass and become a law. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Pacquiao. For the record, there's a second bill here, and I think there are other bills that have been filed. I just want to be sure that we have it all. Uh, that uh, this time written by uh, Senator Lapson, and the title of which is uh, an act reinstituting the death penalty in the Philippines. Uh, and the bill. Uh, uh, of Senator Pacquiao is, uh, involves uh, imposition of the death penalty in cases of drugs. Uh, uh, and uh, on the other hand, uh, there's a general bill here reimposing the death penalty pursuant to the constitutional provision on uh, a law that, is, uh, that must be passed in, con in connection with the imposition of the death penalty. So, uh, uh, Senator Lachlan, would you like to make a comment on your bill? Uh, no, Mr. Chairman. I, I think we should now uh, ask the research persons. But I noticed that we have only one set of research persons here. They all come from uh, the law enforcement uh, agency or law enforcement sector. So I don't know how we will proceed. Uh, at least for today, we can hear them out. But in the succeeding hearings, I, I would suggest that we hear the, uh, the other sectors, Mr. Chairman. Of course. Uh, uh, again, uh, this will take the form of other matters, really, in terms of the bills proposed by Senator Pacquiao uh, and Senator Luxon. Uh So uh, I think we can call the police to... Uh, as well. The NBI is here, right? Is the National Bureau of Investigation here? The, uh, Director Dante Garan and uh, who else? Uh, the police... Uh, General Direct, uh, Rolando, Ronald De La Rosa, who is represented by uh, Police Chief <coughs> Superintendent Edwin Roque, Chief Legal. Uh, who else is here? Can you please stand up, uh, Mr. Edwin Roque? Uh, all right. you've been ta you've been, uh, the oath has been administered to you already, right? Yes, thank you. And then uh, the gentleman right beside you, Police Chief Superintendent. <coughs> yes. Uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, who's next? Can you use the microphone, please? I'm uh, Chief Superintendent Oscar uh, Albayaldi, Your Honor. I'm the yeah. Acting Regional right. Director of the National Capital Region Police Office. All the witnesses here have been administered. Has anybody been uh, here that have not been uh, that have not been able to take their oaths here? Anybody? So you've all taken your oath. So will you please stand up? The three of you. Uh, uh, this will mean uh, the lady. Please, what's your name? Uh, Your Honor, good morning. I'm Attorney Maria Lindbergh Constantinopla, the current uh, Chief of Staff of the Internal Affairs Service. And I also sit as Chief of the Intelligence and Investigation Division of the Internal Affairs Service, Your Honor. Uh, you are a civilian? Yes, Your Honor, I'm a civilian component of the Internal Affairs Service. Maria Lindbergh Constantinopla. Yes, sure. Representing uh, Police Chief Superintendent Luterio. Yes, Your Honor, he would like to extend his sincerest apology for his absence in today's hearing, Your Honor, because he's also engaged to participate in one uh, equally important uh, activity of the PNP, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, Police Chief Superintendent Albayalde, and uh, you are NCRPO, and Police Chief uh, Superintendent Rosaro Axio. Did I pronounce your name right? Axio, thank you. Okay. Would the uh, raise your right hand, please? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this proceeding? Let me take your seats. There, are, there have been many, many cases of uh, killings of late, and not only of late, but in many instances in the past. The questions that we'd like to ask you here would also involve not just the imposition of the death penalty, but also matters involving extrajudicial killings in a very loose definition. Uh, so uh, perhaps. Uh, I would let uh, 
Senator Pakel, because it is the intention of the chair to proceed with the investigation and extrajudicial killings. Uh, would you like to ask a question, Senator Pakel, or no need? Uh, yes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. In relation again to the issue of uh, discussing the death penalty bill, uh, may we know whether an amended or subsequent notice was also issued to the PNP and the other offices invited today in relation to the death penalty law or bill? and whether or not they did receive an amended notice, whether they are prepared to uh, participate in today's proceedings in relation to that bill. Are you prepared to uh, make any uh, suggestions on the bill and for uh, reimposing the death penalty? Anybody? Uh, good morning, Mr. Chair. Good morning. Uh, uh, the NBI as, uh, director is recognized, Dante Guerra. We, we have not uh, received an amended. Uh, what Ma'am Dilima was said. There, you have no notice. We have no notice. So at the moment, uh, although I have my in my mind personally, but it will not uh, it will not bring the the thoughts of the bureau at the moment. So. We are not prepared, General. All right. In that case, then we will proceed. If none of you have been pro been properly notified by the, uh, I'm sorry that we were not properly notified by the secretary, uh, and therefore we will proceed now with the police and uh, for what you were here for, uh, and try to finish uh, the police now. In so far as uh, your thoughts on the matter of uh, of uh, the extrajudicial killings. Uh, Is Ias is here, uh, and Pide is here. Yes. All right. My questions are for Ias. If there are no questions on the part of the, uh, the, the committee, the usual rules apply. Of course, ten minutes for every senator. Uh, let me ask Ias. All right. Now, uh, how many cases are you handling right now? The last time we came here, you were talking about over a hundred cases, right? Uh, currently, Your Honor, uh, we are handling on about one thousand. If you're going to start our timeline from January to October, uh, with respect to the motor propio investigation, we're handing 1,411. But if the timeline will be from July to September, our motor propio investigation will be at 1,298, Your Honor. This is only with respect to the motor propio uh, investigation, Your Honor, but we also handle uh, uh, walk-in clients, which is about 200 cases, Your Honor and uh, other uh, regular motor propio investigation, which is also an additional 200 cases, Your Honor. So you have over a thousand cases. Yes, Sir. To be Your exact Honor. again, motor propio, which means uh, there was a killing, ilan yan? 1,000? Uh, if we're going to start from January, Your Honor, it will be 1,411 1,411. All right, but we're talking about recent uh, killings, uh, let's say July. Your Honor, with respect to the recent killings, we have 1,298, Your Honor. 1,298. How can that be? From January up to the present, you have 1,411. Uh, so you're saying there's really a spike, 1,200 from July to September. Yes, Your Honor, there is an increased number of uh, motor propio investigations. All right. Of the motor propio investigations that you, conduct, that you conducted, uh, uh, we are already done with the 300 uh, cases. Your and of the 300 problem. cases, were there, what is your recommendation? Was there any recommendation to prosecute for failure to, uh, uh, to uh, follow the rules of engagement? So far, Your Honor, these are uh, drop and close cases, Your Honor. Uh, we have 28 for summary hearings, and these are where uh, there speak is... Speak slowly, because we cannot uh, follow you. Go I'm ahead. so sorry, Your Honor. Uh, with respect to resolved cases, Your Honor, we have 300 resolved cases. That this is, these cases were resolved because they've already been considered as drop and close because there is a legitimate operation. Those 300 cases were considered legitimate operations. Yes, Your Honor. Of course, a legitimate operation meaning you had a proper search warrant. Yes, is that what you're talking about? Uh, yes, Your Honor. They when complied you... with the police procedure, Your Honor. And what and are the police procedures then? 
Uh, we are covered by the PNP police procedures, Your Honor. I'm sure you are, but what yes, are they? Sure. Can you tell us here? Uh, the police, police procedure, Your Honor, um, uh, in as much as we would like to discuss about the police procedure, Your Honor, uh, this involves a series of provisions with respect to rules of engagement in the implementation of the warrant, Your Honor. Well, you warrant have, and other... Uh, you, you have a warrant, you have acquired a warrant insofar as 300 cases are concerned. To arrest? Your, Your Honor, some of these cases are involved by bus operation, wherein uh, the, the police officers uh, conducted by bus operation, and some of these cases also involves, uh, ex uh, involves um, serving warrant to the respondent. All right, accused, and in Honor. all those cases, how many did you prosecute? Did you prosecute anybody? Did you find somebody viola in violation of all these rules and regulations? Um, we, we, we have forwarded 28 cases for summary hearing, Your Honor, wherein we find that there is probable cause that indeed this... Uh, 28 of the 300, you found probable cause. Probable cause for what? That they violated the police procedure. Such as? Uh, operational procedure, Your Honor, such as in the serving of the I'm water. sorry, I don't know your operational procedures very well, but you should tell us. Did the, they, did they, did this result in a fatal uh, event? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, all of them? Yes, Your Honor, the 1,298 cases... Are all fatal? Are all fatal, uh, most Now, in the case of the 28, what cases have you filed and where? Did you file with the police commission? No, these cases are filed before the Internal Affairs Service, Your Honor. We have I know, a, you're investigating it, right? Yes, Your Honor. And then, once the, and then you are also going to prosecute them already in the IAS? Yes, Your right? Honor. Yes, Your Honor. From we there have, you don't go to the police commission? You don't file a case at the criminal courts? No, no, Your Honor. We have, we, we file cases to the criminal, we, we also have the authority to file uh, criminal cases. So, Your Honor, with respect to the IAS, it is a one-stop shop. So we investigate, we prosecute. It is administrative in nature, right? Yes, it is Honor. not criminal. You cannot put the guy in jail, right? Yes, Your Honor. So normally when you arrest, when you uh, decide to prosecute, you are punishing them, for example, for you know, insufficient self-defense. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So what do you do administratively? Uh, we conduct some hearing, Your Honor, uh, after the findings of probable cause. We uh, notify the, the respondents to appear and file their answer. Then eventually uh, there will be a hearing, but with the current amendment uh, of the NAPLCOM with respect to MC 2016-002, uh, the, the, the regular hearing will no longer be conducted, but the uh, parties are now being required to submit their respective position papers just to shorten the procedure on the administrative aspect. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit confused. You investigated, already completed 300 cases. Of the 300 cases, 28 you decided to? Proceed for summary hearing, Your Honor. Summary hearing? Yes, Your All Honor. All right. And who would conduct the summary hearing? Uh, we have a separate division. Correct. For and what do you call that division? That is the Legal Affairs Division, Your Legal Honor. Legal Affairs Division. And they, what do they do? They, they, uh, they're actually prosecuting the guy, right? The policeman. Yes, the prosecution is being done by the legal affairs For division. failure to follow the correct... Uh, yes, Your Honor. And uh, what are the cases that you are handling, are you, are you handling right now? The, the cases with administrative cases, Your Honor, grave misconduct, uh, serious irregularities. And, 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 if, if he shoots a guy with insufficient self-defense, I know no prosecution, yeah. Uh, violation of the police procedure. Rape misconduct. Uh, rape misconduct, Your Honor. Oh, hey, what did you say? You didn't know the people who are here who are prosecuted. Yes, Your Honor. Only with uh, the... Do you intend to file murder cases against this policeman? Yes, Your Honor. We have the intention to file murder cases against this uh, police personnel because it is also within our mandate. Under How long will it take you to file? Have you filed any murder cases yet? As of the moment, Your Honor, we haven't filed a single uh, incident. So from July up to, to the present, there's been no case filed? Yes, Your Honor. In 28 and Pinaka serious. They're all dead, diba? Yes, Your Honor. They are dead. Diba, you, presume, we, you were saying that to us that they, they exercise the proper 
measures. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, sure, Honor. And then you're 28. These are uh, PNP persons who failed to comply with the... <laughs> they are found to be... Uh, th there is some findings of probable cause that uh, they, they engage the, the suspect in a manner that not in accordance and with how the law. long do you intend to continue uh, the so-called legal affairs uh, trial, if you will? Uh, under the MC, the new MC of the NAPLCOM, uh, we are bound to uh, resolve these cases within 90-day period, Your Honor. 90 days? Yes, Your Honor, 90-day period. Have you made any announcement to the media to assure public opinion that something is happening with policemen who violate the rules of engagement, that these people, the 38, following John Doe, Juan Doe, Alfred Doe, etc., etc., John Doe, in his case, shot the guy before... We, we, uh, you know, uh, knowing that he had no firearm, or he had a firearm, he had not drawn it, he fired upon him right away. Yes, sir. Can you give me a, spe a specific instance? Uh, in the case of um, Kulata, Your Honor, uh, I, I think it was... Uh, you are familiar with Kulata, that's the guy who... Uh, who was found dead. It is supposed to be a DUI, death under investigation. However, the Internal Affairs Service assumed jurisdiction to conduct. Who was the policeman involved? Uh, your Honor, um, may I refer to my uh, reference, Your Honor? Please do. The policeman involved, Your Honor, is from Tansa, Cavite. Uh, that's the guy that uh, we investigated, and that's why the name is familiar, right? Yes, Your Honor. Yung uh, OFW? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I'm sorry, Your Honor, I cannot remember, but I have to refer to Yeah, that's because... the one, OFW. Okay, the... Checkpoint. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Right? Yes, Your Honor. Tapos pagbalik niya, hinuli siya, di ba? Yes, Your Honor. At pagdabos, natagpuan siyang patay. Yes, Your Honor. Allegedly, after he was released by the police, why can't you tell us? Why do I have to do it? Because I have to refer first, Your Honor, because you're asking about the name of the police officer. Right, just tell us what happened. Uh, what happened is that uh, uh, Mr. Kalata was then going, uh, going to buy something from one particular corner when it, it was captured by the CCTV, Your Honor. And then eventually, uh, because he violated the traffic rules, because he was not, he doesn't have any license and a helmet. He was being apprehended by the police officer and then brought to the station. While he was in the station, uh, they discussed that uh, they asked for apology for the violation. So the police uh, officers, uh, according, allegedly, uh, let them go. Then after uh, five hours, uh, he was then found uh, in one area at Tansa Cavite, uh, particularly in Barangay Lambingan, dead already with a placard that uh, wagayahin. Uh, push her and is the policeman involved in the killing? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, alleged. Uh, this is uh, the findings of uh, obviously, the. Obviously, because she's obviously, diba? Do you have the name of the policeman? Yes, Your Honor. We already filed a case against PO2 Ives Yolon, PO2 Emerson Dison Ocampo, PO1 Edgar de Guzman, and one PO1 Hernan Romanes, Your Honor. And all of them are accused of liquidating the guy. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And you approve of that? Uh, Obviously, for because summary, you filed for the Legal Affairs Division. Yes, this is for summary, Your Honor. I cannot give, I cannot uh, make prejudgment on the case, Your of Honor. Of course, summary hearing mm -hmm. means that, you know, mabilis yan, right? Yes, Your Honor. So, gubalawa kayo, apat na polis ang kinakasuhan nyo ngayon. So, uh, do, do they have lawyers, the policemen? Unahin ko muna yung mga polis. Um, Do you have witnesses from the complainant? Huwag na yung polis, yung complainant na lang. In so far as the... Pinamatayan. In so far as the witnesses, Your Honor, there is no witness to this particular case. However, the fact that they were there... In uh, the custody it, of these police officers... Yes, Your Honor, there seems to be a prima facie evidence and in fact, there is findings of probable cause. That's the reason why we... Yung bang mga taong namatayan, hinahabol kayo doon, nagpupunta ba doon sa hearing? No, Your Honor, we volunteered to go to their place and interview them. So in interview you sila? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I asked my uh, staff to go to, from, from the headquarters as well as from the region. Saan ginagawa yung hearing ninyo? The, the hearing of Colata is now being done before the regional office of uh, Region 4. Si Colata yung namatay. Yung hearing ng mga police ang pinag-uusapan <laughs> yes, natin. Honor, but, yes, Your Honor. The hearing is being run before the regional office of uh, RIAS 4A, Your Honor.
Saan niya? Sa Cavite? Yes, Your Honor. So, nandun. And walang pumuputa sa mga kamag-ana? Uh, we are not done yet, Your Honor, with no, no, the... No, but nag-umpisa na kayo. Nakailang hearings na kayo. No, uh, Your Honor, uh, please, uh, the, the, the case was only been forwarded for summary hearing only about last week, Your Honor. Last week, because it was brought here and General, Ma General uh, De La Rosa was here, right? Yes, Your Honor. And so he ordered you to conduct an investigation, correct? Yes, Your Honor, but and he also... Have, uh, so, uh, wala pa? And did you take any matter? I'm sure your police community relations officer went to the people, uh, the relatives of the victim, correct? As far as the in, uh, investigation... Yes or no? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, what do you aspar, aspar pa? <laughs> Nagpunta, di ba? Police community relations, bakit? Oh, ito, hinuli namin to. Ayan, pumunta kayo, dililitis namin to. Uh, Your Honor, currently, the we are we have shortage of human resources. Your Honor, we have to... I'm not asking you whether you have shortage. I don't care if you have only one policeman. I just want to know where you are because our course here... It's to find out if you have shortage, and we have been told that you have only 700 people in the EAS. Yes, sir. We know your sub-story, okay? Thank and we you, should Anna. start doing something about it. Now, I want to know, kasi ang importante sa amin dito, na ang tao na namatayan, may habol sila. Nalalaman nila ang gobyerno, hindi pulisiya ang pumatay. Na dapat, may karapatan silang malaman kung anong stage of the action, anong ginagawa ng mga tao para may feeling na hindi makakalusot yung mga pumapatay ng tao indiscriminately, correct? Yes, Your Honor. I have to raise my voice with you, please. I don't want to do that, but you have to give me more information. Yes, Your Honor. Nakakapagtaka sa akin, kaila kayo nagsimula nung mag-summary uh, hearing. Uh, actually, Your Honor... Hindi pa. No, Your Honor, oh, because we have... Doon. Hindi pa. We alam have... Mo, alam mo, alam ko eh. <laughs> Eh, nakikita ko sa mukha mo na hindi ka pa handa. Wala pa. Correct? Your Honor, uh, please, uh, with your respect, Your Honor, we have to comply with MC 2016-002, uh, wherein uh, the respondent is given uh, the chance to uh, make, uh, to, 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 uh, Did I not ask you whether the police have counsel? And you have not answered that. Uh, your Honor, this matter involves the, the region, Your Honor. I can confirm to the region, Your Honor, whether they are being represented by the police because I am now assigned with the DIAS. However, uh, we will provide you with information. May we know from, Your Honor, from the PN. Because ano malabas sa akin? Cosmetology ito eh. You know what cosmetology is? Yes, Your Honor. The study of? Beautification of an ugly person, right? Hindi exact yung definition ko. Papagandahin mo, pamalagyan mo ng makeup, correct? Na bisto dito yan, nagalit si General De La Rosa, iduli nyo, may kaso kayo, pero hanggang ngayon, hindi ba dapat, isang linggo na yan eh, dapat meron na kayong rason na yan for killing, di ba? Na ang tinatanong ko, lumipat tayo pa sa Mandala. I commend General De La Rosa, he ordered an investigation, we will follow up this case because hindi pa nyo talaga nasisimulan yung kaso ngayon, correct? Your Honor, with you respect your Honor, we have to comply with the provision of I the MC. I know you have to comply, that's why yes. I ask you, a hey, lawyer ba? Hindi mo alam. Alam mo ba? As far as I'm concerned, Your Honor, we are conducting motoprofio investigation on this Ay, case. Ano ano motoprofio the, na the prosecution, Your Honor, of the EAS will be representing the complainant, Your Honor. The, we are the nominal complainant in this case, Your Honor. I so, know. When yes, you file this case, it will be in the name of people of the Philippines before against these people, correct? Yes, Your Honor. This is policemen. So, so tinatanong ko lang, anong stage? Wala pa. Sa totoo lang, wala pa. No, we have initially conducted our uh, investigation. No, no, I commend General De La Rosa. Um, gumalaw siya. Kinasuhan niyo yung apat. Pero saan pupunta yan? Oh, let's go to another topic. Give me a situation where out of the 28, ilan ang police doon na nakamatay na allegedly nagbarilan? Na sinabi niyo, hindi tama yung pagkabaril. Pagkapaday. All the 28, Your Honor, is with the allegation that... Uh, all the 28. Yes, Your sure, Honor. Otherwise... Kasi yung case ni Kulata, hinuli nyo lang yung police, dahil silang huling humawak kay Kulata, last touch sila. 
Your, your, your Honor, please. Your, your Honor, please, uh, may be stand corrected, Your Honor. With respect to Colata, we are still conducting a pre-charge investigation. Pre-charge, I'm so sorry, Your Honor, pre-charge investigation because we are bound by the MC, if you will allow me to continue, Your Honor. Uh, we are bound by the MC 200, uh, 20, 2016-002, wherein the respondent is given uh, the right to submit his counter affidavit within five days from receipt of the information that there is a case filed against him. So this is the reason why uh, this case is now for pre-charge investigation and not part of the 28 for summary hearing, Your but Honor. you were the one who raised Kulata out of the 28. It was not me, correct? Yes, so Your Honor. I stand corrected, Your Honor. Uh, you stand corrected, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. With respect to the Kulata, it's still for pre-charge investigation, Your Honor. All right. I have already gone beyond that. Let us now go to the other 28 na sinasabi mo. So 29 ko yung sinasabi mo. 28 ngayon. Yung sa 28, bigyan mo ako ng sitwasyon na yung pulis nakipagbarilan. Alam mo, yan ang isyo ngayon sa buong mundo. Ang dami na mamatay sa barilan. And ako, naintindihan ko yan. Sinasabi ko nga sa mga tao, pag sinasabi ng Pangulo, sinasabi ng mga hepe, na pag may baril yung kalaban at bumunod, maunahan nyo na. And because of that, lahat ng mga uhuli nyo drug pusher, magkakarga na yan. Lalaban na yan ng baril. Ngayon, 28 ang nahuli nyo. O ano yung 28 na yan? Sino yung nakipagbarilan? Your Honor, could I ask for uh, our reference because all of these cases within the region, but we have a copy right now of these cases, Your Honor. Uh, I would just like to confirm with my uh, staff, Your Honor, for a while, Your Honor. Go ahead. You're allowed. That's where I'm going to head. I don't know about the others here. I just want to know, let everybody know, we are not going to leave any stone unturned here. When you say there's a shooting, you have to justify the shooting. And you have to do it quickly. Kung nagbarila ng police, o ikaw, patagal ka na ba sa IAS? Yes, Your Honor. Ano na huwa ka mong kaso sa IAS? I have. So, so many cases, Your Honor. Alright, may nagbarilan. How long does it take you to say, hindi tama yung ginawa mo, suspendido ka, turn in your badge, turn in your gun. Kung ba yung nangyayari doon? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, yung baril mo, suspendido ka, you're confined to quarters or... Not in all cases, Your Honor. Uh, anong, anong kaso? Alimbawa, give me some case. I am the one who uh, investigated... No, 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 just tell me. Anong, anong sinasabi? Akin mo ng case, Your Honor. Pag nakabaril yung police, anong ginagawa niya? Uh, we, we conduct ballistic uh, examination on the firearms. We uh, request. No, no, I know that. Yung ballistic, sa aralin nyo. Yes, eh, sinasabi ko na, nakita nyo na, oh, gano katagal yun? Ang tinatanong ko, gano katagal? Pagkatapos magbarilan, yung malalaman na yung polis hindi ginawa yung akdang nakalagay sa kautusan na dapat huwag ka mamamaril ang tao kung di ka bababarilin. We are uh, supposed... Ano ang prosedyo pag nanghuli ka? Di ba taas ang kamay? Kakap ka pa nyo. Hindi lang taas ang kamay. May baril. Binaril nyo ka agad. Tama o hindi? No, Your Honor. Mali. O, oh, give me a case doon sa 28 na ganun na nangyari. Nobody's gonna get a pass here in spite of what other senators are thinking. Okay, Your Honor, one, one case at uh, Pasay, Your Honor. One particular case in Pasay, we're, in the, we're already done with the summary hearing. In fact, uh, the, the result of the, the case has already been forwarded to the disciplinary authority right now, Your Honor, for his uh, signature and approval. Ito yung naka, nakakulong sa Pasay? Yes, Your Honor, the, the detainee... Oh, kwento mo ang facts, dahil nakikinig ang buong Pilipinas dito. Sige, kwento mo, ano nangyari sa Pasay? Uh, based on this particular case, Your Honor, uh, the, 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 suspect, uh, the, the suspect, the one killed were actually detained at Pasay. All right, before we go any further, I will go back to you. I want a list of the 28 cases that you say involve firearms, the kabarilan, gusto ko ibigay niyo sa akin kung ano situation dyan, and I want you to submit the rules and regulations involved uh, sa investigasyon ninyo. Yes, Your Honor. Ang sinasabi mo, MC-22? MC-2016-0016. MC-2016. Of the NAPOLCOM. 2016-002. So, kasama rin ang NAPOLCOM dyan. Hindi lang kayo. No, Your Honor. This is... Ina-adapt nyo lang yung rules sa NAPOLCOM? Yes, Your Honor, because they are the regulatory body of the... Uh, Philippine National Police, Your Honor. They're the one engaged into uh, 
providing us the policy and the rules with respect okay. to our... Okay, sige, proceed. So, sa 28, sino pa? Ano nangyari doon sa Pasay? Kwento mo na yun sa Pasay. Mr. Chairman, you, you yes. May yeah. I just interject related to your line of questioning? Yes, please go ahead. Have you taken over the investigation of that incident last October 9 in Oriental Mindoro? Yes, Your Honor. So uh, we already initial, acquired jurisdiction. What's the initial uh, finding? The initial finding is that uh, there is no need, Your Honor, to uh, this. Uh, me. With respect to the, the, the Mindoro case, Your Honor, we proceeded with the pre-charge investigation because there's no need for us to conduct motor proprio investigation simply because the police personnel no, here... No, what's your initial finding? Our initial finding is that they are involved, Your Honor, and that no, they no, should be charged. What what's the motive? What was the motive in, uh, in, the shooting, in the shooting incident? Because it turned out that the masked men are actually police officers, right? Yes, Your Riding Honor. Riding in tandem. But they yes, turn out to be police officers. So I'm trying to find out the motive because that's significant. Kung motive is, or the, kung a motive was to shoot them as uh, suspected drug uh, personalities, I, I can more or less form a conclusion. But kung personal, iba rin yung conclusion. So I, I'd like to find out from you, ano ba yung motive na establish nyo in the shooting incident? Um... With, with res it is more personal motive, Your Honor, because... What's uh, the motive, kung personal? Uh, we are yet... <laughs> How can Excuse you say it's personal when you don't... <laughs> yes, Your Honor, because the, because the person killed, Your Honor, in this case, is a chairman of the uh, Crime Watch. Crime Watch is not engaged into any uh, illegal activity. So, more or less, it's a personal motive on his part because he has no reason to... There is no reason for him to be killed because he's not engaged in any illegal activity. So, um, it's more on personal motive, but this being handled by our Region 4A, eh, Your Honor, uh, I'm now handling 1,200... But when you mong personal motive, ano yung specific motive bakit pinatay o bakit pumatay yung police nung sinasabi mong crime watch? Love triangle, personal grudge, dapat may establish yung motive kung meron kayo initial investigation na kinundak. Kasi, you know, balik ako sa, sa theory na establish ko, no? Kasi kung drug-related operation at police officers in mask uh, disguised as riding in tandem, iba yung, iba yung conclusion ko doon. They could be over-eager police officers na ayaw lumatad sa legitimate operation na pumatay ng drug pushers. Pwede rin namang they were instructed by higher authorities. So, sa akin, importante yung ma-establish yung motive para makadraw tayo ng conclusion. Hindi ba? So, ano yung personal motive na sinasabi mo? This is my opinion, Your Honor, but... Uh, no, no, you're an investigator. No, 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 no. You don't give us an opinion. Uh, you, your Based Honor... Your findings. Yes, Your Honor. I just in receipt of the findings, we have the initial report. They have not yet uh, given to us here at the National EAS the result of their investigation, the investigation report. We just rec in receipt of the initial report, Your Honor, with respect to the what actually transpired at uh, the Mindoro incident, Your Honor. But we will provide you with information if we are already uh, in receipt of that uh, investigation report, Your Honor. Conclusive ba yan na hindi drug-related yung operation, yung pagka, yung shooting incident na yun? Uh, we, we don't have yet the, the, oh, the initial profile with respect to the, the victim, Your Honor, is that he's a chairman of a crime watch. Well, maski chairman ng crime watch, kung involved sa drugs, may conclusion na ba kayo na talagang absolutely wala siyang kinalaman sa, sa drugs? No, Your Honor, it is just an initial information, Your Honor. For the benefit of everyone, refer to this report. Gloria Oriental Mindoro. Riding in tandem killers who gunned down 251-year-old citizens' crime watch. You're not telling us that we don't know that this guy is a crime watch person. Regional chairperson Zenaida Luz. Babae pa ito, ha? Yes, sir. Last Sunday night in this town turned out to be two junior police officials. Police officials. One of them, a bemedaled municipal police chief, 
the top police officer official in this province revealed yesterday. Now, natutuwa ako na mismo yung provincial director, inuli niya yan, nabi niya, ito, bimedal pa ito, walang exempted. Walang exempted. Ang hinahabol ko lang dito, gaano katagal ninyo bago nyo maipile yung kasong yan. Kung nahuli nyo na yan at sila ang bumalil, inaamin nila, ano susunod na yugto nitong saga na ito? Senior Inspector Magdaleno Pimentel Jr. of the First Maneuver of Juan uh, Base uh, in San Teodoro and Inspector Markson S. Almerañez, Chief of Police of Socorro Town. Police Chief pa, nakamotrosiklo, pinatay. Alam mo, bago ako umalis kanina, pinapakinggan ko si Vice President Kabayan. Ang sabi niya, ang pinagsususpect siya ng tao ah, ng mga riding in tandem, hindi makakagalaw ay mga polis. Eto, nasa ba't ni uh, Senator Laxon, yung kasong ito, polis mismo ang bumabaril, naka, motorsiklo pa sila. Ano ang estado ng kasong yan? It is uh, for PCI, you know, recharge <coughs> investigation. Kailan nangyari ito? October uh, 11 to Sunday 2016. Sunday, uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, 9 to 11, right? Yes, So. You have to expect that we're going to ask you this question. Hindi para ibilad kayo o hiyain kayo pura para para malaman namin kung ano ang gagawin niyo sa mga ganitong pangyayari. Wala pa tayo doon sa DUI, ha? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, the incident actually transpired in October 9. But Correct. it came to the news about maybe October, October 11. 11 years, no, hindi ko ta sinisingil doon. Just want you to answer forthrightly. Yes, sir. Sure. Nangyayari yan. Even in America, may mga polis. Eh. Namama, namamaril rin eh. Talagang nangyayari yan. Pero ayaw natin mangyayari yan. So, the point is, can you give us any example dun sa 28 na sinabi nyo na, ditis nyo na, nasa legal affairs. Ano yung mga kasong yun? Meron ba nagbali lang doon na napahindi nyo na hindi naman nakahawak ng baril yung tao, bidari ng polis. Meron mga ganon. Uh, your Honor, all, all of this involves shooting incident, Your Honor. But Just answer me, yes or no. I don't have any information, Your Honor, about the 28th, Your Honor, but these are shooting incidents. You know, uh, I want the police. Alam mo ako, nag-bear ako. Pinakamasamang police yung police ko noong araw. In one year, we turned it around. We made it the best police council in the whole country. That was way back in 1980. Yes, sir. All right? And it kept on winning and winning every year afterwards. At wala na nang mamatay sa ulong ko po ng panahon na yun. Birang, bira. So don't tell me. You do not know. Y Your Honor, I have... So, sasabihin ko na lang sa inyo. But I can... At 28, ulitin ko yung tanong. Ilan doon, involving shooting incident, ang na-find out nyo na yung taong binaril... Walang baril. O di ka naman lumalaban. Binaril. Nakataas ang kamay. Binaril. Nakalakalood na. Binaril. You know, ang media natin, madilikod siya. Tama lang. Yung nangyari doon sa Kaloocan. Tinanggal yung lalaki, 17 year old. Pinatay. This is not gonna be a picnic, you know. You are, ano, with respect to the... 28 uh, cases now for summary hearing. These are being done by the regional offices. In as much as I would like to inquire on how uh, the incident transpired, whether or not uh, they drove guns or uh, there was indeed a shooting incident. What is your procedure in EAS? Because you're saying me, na, malayo sila, hindi namin ginagawa yan. Eh. We monitor, your... your Honor. In fact, we How have the monitor? initial report. We have the initial report that there is a case uh, these particular cases are for some When do you get that report? Pardon, Your Honor. When do you get that report? Tomorrow, Your Honor. I can submit it to your office, Your Honor, because this, this report are all available, Your Honor. Just give me the chance, Your Honor, to uh, scan on the perils on our documents, right. because I, everything I, I, is available. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere anyway. with you right now, and you're not making a good account of yourself, because when you come here, you better be ready. I'm not against the police here, I'm not the pro police. I just want to make sure we can come out with a decent investigation report here, a uh, committee report here that will say these are the following things that must be done right away. Kung nagbarilan, nakita ninyo, wala sa lugar yung pagkabaril, how long does it take you? Dapat within three days, alam nyo na na, 
Hindi siya nanood yung rules of engagement. Pwede ba yan? Yes, Your Honor. O, oh, pala eh. Ba't wala ka pa sabing ganun? Tatlong daan nyo na, na resolve nyo eh. Yes, Your Honor. At least sinabi nyo, ah, hindi, tama lahat ang ginawa nila. Namalun sila, lumalaban yung tao, papatayin nyo yung polis, napatayin namin. Okay yun. Kung totoo yun. Pero kung ang tao, yung 28 na sinasabi nyo, at inuna mo si Kulata na hindi naman involve yung barila ng polis sa kayong tao, ang tinatanong ko, internal affairs come in, may polis, bumaril siya, nahuli niya na, nakasakay na, katulad nun sa HPG, nakasakay doon sa kotse, wala pa rin yung tao, pati nung tao, napatay, syempre, magtatanong tao. E ganyan lahat sa mga polis, eh, namamaril sila. Ayaw natin yun. Ang gusto natin, lalabas, ay lumalaban talaga sa polis na patunayan. Now, meron ba kayong gano'n na 28 doon sa polis na yun na gano'n sa nangyari doon sa HPG? Meron ka bang alam? Wala. Sa Metro Manila, nandito ka sa Metro Manila, may kaso ka bang nasa bat na yung polis ng Metro Manila ay hindi, ginain, hindi sinunod yung rules of engagement? Y yes, Your Honor. Oh, sabihin mo sa amin kung ano. Sa 28 na yan, meron? I will ask General Alcayalde, Al Al who is the National... Uh, uh, Albayalde? Albayalde. Uh, sorry, I'm not very good in names. But, uh, can you show me, you know, I, my staff prepared, uh, we've been following, hindi pa ako senador, minapalo ko na yung riding in tandem. So when these things happen, nagbilang ako July, this is far from accurate because ang figures yung in fact are larger than my figures. In Manila, lumalabas, may papel ka ba dyan? Dito? Dito na lang, dito na lang. Meron ka ba? I'm not talking about riding in tandem. Huwag muna yung riding in tandem. Yung muna ang mga uh, from July to the present. Ito yung folder 5. I'm sure you have better figures, uh, General, no? than me. Because you have figures in the PNP. And mine doesn't compare to yours. Mine is based on calling it from uh, the national media. <coughs> If I were the PNP chief, and I'm not, but if I were a mayor of Metro Manila, let's say Manila police, and I want to protect my people, I would say, in the city of Manila, you have a police superintendent, Joel Coronel. Is that correct? Is he here? Yes, Your Honor. Hello, okay. Uh, can you put him on the road? I want to advise you that I am not a McCarthyist. No? I'm not finding fault. I'm finding a solution to a problem. I don't even have to tell you that, but I want you to know that we will find a solution. Go ahead. Uh, Sir? Colonel, uh, Superintendent Cornell? Sir? Can we do this for all the police officers who are here? Huh? For all the police officers who are here. Can you raise your right hand, sir? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this proceeding? And you are the head of the Manila Police Department. Thank you. Please sit down. Thank you very much for coming, sir. Let me ask you, sa akin hong talaan, under police operations, ang namatay sa Manila, do you have yours? Meron ba kayo? Pakisabi niyo lang ako ilan sa inyo. For the city of Manila, sir, SARS, July 1 to October 5, a total of 200 suspects were neutralized by the Manila Police District in police operations, sir. Masakit pakinggan yung neutralized, I would say, baka sabihin military kayo. Were killed in the course of police operations. Pwede yun naman sabihin, decaffeinated. Yes, sir. All right. Just kaya, funny. Sa inyo, 200, 200 lang? Yes, sir. As of uh, October 1. 200, exactly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sa amin, 164. Sa police operation siya, na? Yes, sir. In police operation. And DUI, ilan sa inyo? Sa amin, 40. Nakalap ng staff namin. 
Yes, sir. Uh, for police operations, sir, it's 54, Your Honor. 54. So, mataas kayo. Ang grand total is 204 sa amin. Sa inyo, ilan ho? Grand total, sir, is 205 for, Your Honor. 254. 54. Yes, Your Honor. Ilan ho ang nahuli niyong pumapatay doon sa DUI na 50? Sa inyo. Because, syempre, yes. ako, ako mayor, ako ay I take pride in trying to provide citizens uh, peace and order to the point that pag may namatay, I am awakened at night. Kaya sanay ako mapuyat eh. Yes, Your Honor. Pag may nakawaan, tinatawagan ako. Even in direct cross, pagka may nangailangan ng dugo, may lumindol, tinatawagan ako ng operation center namin. Para alam nila, nababantayan namin para hindi mamamaga yung problema. Ano po? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you're, I'm sure, I presume you're not the colonel kung hindi kayo magaling, no? Uh, so, hindi ba kayo nababagabag na ang namatay sa inyo ay about 200 sa police operations. Doon ba sa police operations nyo, lahat yun na justify nyo? May iniimbisiga ba ang... Automatic iimbisiga niya pag may namatay, di ba? Yes, sir. Our internal affairs services oh, investigate. Oh, yun. Tatanong services. kita ngayon. Meron ka ba na iimbisiga doon? <coughs> Miss uh, Constantino, ano? yeah. Constantinople. Constantinople, Your Honor. Our uh, DIAS, Your Honor, District Internal Affairs Services, being, uh, is doing the investigation with respect to the MPD, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Uh... If that is the case, meron ba kayong kinasuhan na ng murder? Meron o wala? Criminal Pero, case, Your Honor. Administrative, Your Honor. Criminal case. Criminal case? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, we have not wala. filed okay. any criminal Good. case, Your Honor. Sa administrative? Uh, Improper implementation of the rules of engagement? Uh, we have one, Your Honor. One? One with respect to the NCR. NCR. Yes, sir. Bakit? That is with what does that is with the case of uh, the Pasay City incident, your honor. Manila ito eh. Uh, Manila, your honor. We are not yet done with the summary hearing, your honor. Not 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 a single uh, case was. All right. Uh, they are all under investigation. Colonel, kaya ba, honor. Superintendent? Meron ba kayo na kagalit sa akin si Senator Pimentel pag sinasabi ng Colonel? Superintendent, meron ba? No complaint has been filed against any Manila Police District personnel in relation all of to our As a good officers. officer, you'll say, because ayaw nyo mapagbibito kayo na nag yes, salvaging in the extrajudicial killing. Salvaging. Yun na naging uh, uh, akusasyon sa mga police through the years. Nagsasalvage. Extrajudicial killing represents medyo may political accent yun eh. No? Mapatay ng labor leader, mapatay ng politiko, mga ganyan. Pero ito, salvaging, mga kriminal na nagsawa na ang kapulisan o nagsawa na yung mga vigilante, yun ang pinapatay. Walang salvaging dito in that definition. Uh, no Manila policeman has been ever involved in salvage uh, or summary exclusions. That is the ideal, of course. Pero you do not have a policy to that effect. None, Your Honor. All right. At pag namatay, nakamatay, you investigate right away. Yes, Your Honor. Sa inyo, on your own, even without IAS. Yes, Your Honor. In Papaliwanag siya. Ano ang procedure? Kukunin niyo yung barrel? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, initially, during the, after the course of a police operation wherein a suspect was neutralized or killed, our policemen will have to surrender themselves and present themselves. Is that a civilian to... term? Uh, uh, let me ask uh, General Albayalde, is that a civilian term? Neutralized? Is that the term of police uh, iba ginagamit? Or, uh, or is, that, what, is that a military uh, term? That's what we have adopted, sir, in Senado of the word. Sa PMP, PMA, yes. Senado yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Neutralize yes, the enemy. Yes. Medyo masakit pakinggan, eh. You know, we, yes, in self-defense, we <coughs> disable the enemy. Or we, not the enemy, the, the criminals, yes, diba? That term has already been in use since the time of our former Chief PNP, Senator Laxon. Excuse me? That term has already been in use since uh, the time of our former Chief PNP, Senator Laxon. Sir. Sige. Neutralize. Sige ka, sige ka. Uh, I will put that on record. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, uh, dul sa DUI, hindi ba masyadong marami yung DUI ninyo? 50? Uh, 54, sir, for about, the period Ha? Uh, yes, sir, 54 months, incidents. Uh, that's about 50, but... Uh, over 10 a, a month. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, 42 a month, no? 14, yes, sir. 14 cases a month. Uh, yeah, no, sorry. Uh, uh, 12 a month. 
12 a month? Yes, Your Honor. 12 to 14 cases a month, Your Honor, on the average. And is that normal for a city like Manila? Well, for the past six months, our murder and homicide rates is averaging about 21 murder and homicide incidents. And I would think it's way below the normal figure, sir, and the, as compared to the death under inquiry. Right. I mean, of course, you know, you deal with averages, they could be misleading because one death of a human being is one death. Yes, sir. That should be something that we should not tolerate, ni ba? or not even allow. And have you done any investigation who are behind these killings in 50? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, out of the 54 cases which we consider as death under inquiry, we were able to clear nine incidents with the identification of seven suspects. Of the seven suspects, four uh, also were already killed in the course of police operations arresting them, Your Honor. And who were these suspects? Uh, I have here What is the nature of their livelihood? Or yes, sir. I understand uh, in these seven cases, they are all drug-related. Uh, we're in... Uh, the persons initially killed under the death under in inquiry cases were former um, cohorts, accomplices of the other suspects in the drug trade. And why would they be killed? Have you established that? I understand, sir, that there, was, uh, there were three motives we uncovered or discovered. First is the very common is the non-remittance of collection money so far as drug money is Anunuba. concerned. Nanunuba. Mm. Uh, hindi po nakaremit, sir, yung suspect. Oh, Nanunuba. Hindi, hindi yes, sir. Oh, oh. Yes, sir. Another, sir, is uh, when in rival groups or drug trades, uh, drug trade syndicates would take over the area of another suspect, particularly when arrests have been made by the police, a new group will take over that particular area. And there will be, um, I understand, a uh, conflict between these groups and uh, will result to killing among them. And number three, sir, is what we're investigating now, the possibility of some policemen who are formerly involved in the illegal drug trade who are neutralizing or killing their former sources or suppliers. a policeman. Yes, your honor. Some policemen are killing their own sources. Yes, sir. yes your You honor. were saying what I've been saying. Yes, that, uh, there was a chilling effect na the reveal ng president and limang general that is unprecedented. So, marami na takot na baka may magtuturo, eliminate na nila yung mga taong uh, na gamit nila dati, baka ituro sila. So, yun ang example mo dito. That's one possibility now we are investigating, your honor. In, in so ilan, far ilang kaso cases. yun, mga ilan? There are about five cases, Your Honor. And you know the particular policeman involved? Uh, we former have, policeman or current policeman? Uh, former policeman, Your Honor, and still uh, two in, in the service. active service. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Have they been arrested? Uh, no, not yet, Your Honor. Uh, you have enough witnesses to that effect? We have uh, enough information to conduct follow-up operations that will lead to the filing of cases. And wouldn't it be nice if you announce that to the media and you say, these policemen are wanted for killing these people? Hindi ba maganda yun para matulungan kayo ng tao? At this time, Do you have a website? Yes, Your Honor, we do, sir. Pwede nyo ba ilagay sa website nyo ito mga police na ito involved? Uh, pumapatay, ito pinag-iinalaan ng Manila Police Department na ito mga police na ito involved? Pinatay nyo ito mga tao ito? Pwede ba yun? Most any like any yes, witness who any somebody who can testify where they are para mahuli yes ay tatanghalin namin na uh, isang bayani ng bayan yes sir we will be able to do that your honor as soon as we have filed the case and a warrant of arrest will be issued against that particular so there state. are suspects yes your honor we have suspects you have witnesses to to, to uh, attest to the fact that these people were the ones involved in the killings Yes, Your Honor. Uh, witnesses or uh, information provided to us that might link them well, to the Well, that's information that yes, at least uh, gratifies me because I feel that uh, may ginagawa kayo. And that is the point of this investigation. Ayun naman natin sabihin na wala kayong ginagawa, di ba? Because mahirap ang pulis eh. Ang pulis eh, pag wala kayong ginawa, sisisihin kayo. Pag may ginawa kayo na wala sa lugar, sisisihin kayo. Ginawa nyo na nasa lugar, sisisihin pa kayo. That's why it's so important that you come out with an explanation of your rules and regulations and what you're doing and make an announcement. And this is the this is now the uh, proper opportunity for you to say that. And I'm glad that you are articulate enough to respond to that. But you still have 200 policemen that use deadly force. Is that completely necessary? Yes, sir, I understand. Under the rules of engagement... What do you understand? That the use of deadly force is allowed in the event that the life of the policeman or any person for that matter has been threatened and that the use of deadly force is necessary to negate that. How many weapons have you collected from these encounters? In 200 na yan? Yes, sir. Uh, allow me to check my records. 
Yes, sir. A total of 195 firearms had been 195 seized. firearms had been seized from the suspects of were various there. calibers of different calibers, Your Honor. Uh, what is the heaviest one? The most number is uh, uh, the heaviest is caliber 45 pistol, Your Honor. So pistol, karamihan. Yes, Your Walang Honor. Walang machine pistol. Shotguns. There were shotguns, 9 millimeter pistols, caliber 38, 357, another heavy caliber firearm uh, recovered, Your Honor. And that has been in the evidence file now, or nasanyan? They're all been turned over to our crime laboratory for ballistics examinations, Your Honor. Mr. Chairman. Yes, go ahead. Uh, uh, clarify lang. Did I hear you right? Out of 54 DUIs, nine yung resolved, yung solved cases, nine. Cleared or solved, Your Honor. Yeah. And another five is under investigation, may possible suspects. Yes, Your Honor. So 14 in total. Yes, Your Honor. So isn't that a rather low crime solution rate? One point, kinuwento ko, 1.78 percent. Uh, out of medyo the 54, mababa. yes, I would yeah, think, sir, it is... 9 still... out of 54, so medyo mababa. 1.7, yes, 1.8% yes, yes. uh, solution rate. Hindi ba mababa yes, yun? So that's about 10 out of 5 cases, Your Honor. But but we're still 10 following out of five. up on... 10 out of 50, you mean? Uh, 10 out of 50, Your Honor. But we're still following up on the other cases, 20%. Your Honor. Case build-up and uh, follow-up investigations 50, are being conducted. 20%, huh? Yes, sir. 10 out of 54, yes, sir. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry, 14 out of 54. <laughs> Huh? 14 out of 54, 14 Your Honor. 14 out of 54. Yes, Your Honor. So, pag kinumpit natin. <laughs> so, ito yung mga DUI. 25, 25%, 26%. Yes, Your Honor. Lahat, lahat. But the other cases, uh, they're still subject to follow-up investigation and uh, case build-up. So, we'll, hopefully, we'll be able to break some leads, gather some more information, and identify the culprits, Your Honor. Yung DUI ninyo, mga may mga kaso ba yun? In the 54 cases, they are drug-related, or most of those are included in our watch list, Your Honor. Wait, I said, I'm going to have a watch list, because I'm going to have a watch list. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Chairman, can I... Let me deviate a little, you know. Yes, I'll just jump in. I don't want to lose this point. Go ahead. This is not on the agenda, you know. But Senator De Lima filed a bill yesterday. This is classifying extrajudicial killing as a separate crime. Am I, am I correct, uh, madam? Anyway, uh, one of the features or one of the provisions to sa kanyang bill is the use of a megaphone before you conduct arrest or rape. So I would just like to pick your brain. Uh, although hindi sa agenda pa ito, there will be a separate hearing for that uh, to tackle that bill. But uh, yun lang, what's, what's your take on that particular uh, uh, legislative uh, proposal or measure uh, yun, yung, yung aspeto na yun use of megaphone before you even yes, conduct sir. arrest or conduct a raid you are required if and when that bill is passed or enacted into law no, you will uh, get, get hold of a megaphone or that will be part of your uh, equipment or equipage you know? yes sir so you will announce to the suspects para, well, that's that's feature. So what's your take on, on that uh, particular? Uh, I, personally, sir, I think that will be a case-to-case -case basis, Your Honor, because there are instances where in uh, operations, particularly against high-value targets, we don't need to announce our presence, and we have to use the element of stealth and surprise to conduct yes. our operations. And what would be the case when uh, it is practical or it is safe to use a megaphone? Uh, particularly in cases where we have uh, in um, hostage taking, hostage situations, Your Honor, or when there is the crime is already being committed in the presence of other people, and the police would have to announce the authority okay. and the manner uh, and the reason why he's going to effect the arrest or the police operation, Your Honor. And possibly hindi unarmed yung, uh, yung suspect. Sigurado kayo unarmed, so you may resort to using a megaphone for him to come out peacefully and surrender. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. That yes, is yes. in cases of uh, <coughs> you're issuing a, a warrant of arrest, do you have a bullhorn car, di ba? Or yes, may hostage case, di ba? Yes, Your Honor. I always use a bullhorn. I have a bullhorn in my car all the time uh, for, you know, bad habit from my mayor days, and it's very effective, actually, and even from a disaster point of view. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, but having said that, uh, uh, can you get... Mr. Uh, Chair, just on the point about the use of megaphones, 
I'm glad that the resource person now has acknowledged that there are certain instances where the use of megaphone would be advisable. And may I point out, and you guys should know this, this is in your PNP operational guidelines, both in 2010 and 2013. The Philippine National Police operational procedures, both of 2010 and 2013. So may I just cite from the late, latest, the 2013 requirements of police operations. Six, that's rule six. Then you have rule 6.2, use of megaphones and similar instruments. During actual police intervention operations, the team leader shall use peaceful means, including the use of megaphones or any other similar instruments to warn or influence the offenders or suspects to stop and or peacefully <coughs> give up. So we actually just base Yes, what, is, what is provided in my bill yes, Madam Chair. on Madam your Madam Chair. own police operational guidelines because I think this is standard in police intervention operations in many jurisdictions. But as you said, not all instances with the use of megaphone would be, would be advisable. advisable. Yes, Your Honor. But this, this is part of your own operational guidelines. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Sorry for debating, Mr. Chairman. Please go ahead. Where were we? Uh, all right. Uh, yung mga cases ng DOI nyo, this is 50, no? Lahat sila ay mga police characters then. A majority of them, Your Honor. Some are still unidentified. That's why we still have a... Okay, how many are unidentified out of 54? Unidentified, sir, is five. Five. Yes, Your Honor. So that's about 10%? Yes, Your Honor, roughly All right. 10%. All right. And the rest are police may record? Yes, Your Honor. Criminals? Yes, Your Honor. All right. And they were killed, as you say, by people who are actually their ilk, or people killed by police, the dating humahawak sa kanila, or mga kakompetensya nila. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. In any of the three possibilities, Your Honor. And you have the suspects already na of the about you know, suspects you have nine right? cases, uh, huh? Your Honor. Nine cases uh, have been uh, cleared wherein the suspects have been identified. Sorry? Nine cases of those fifty four wherein suspects have been identified. Identified. Yes, Nakuli na ba yan, di pa? Uh, no, sir, but uh, we were able to neutralize four of those possible suspects in that killing, Your Honor. Also in another drug operation by the police. Four pa kayong cases na pa file? Cases for, for filing, sir, we have six, but still consolidating evidence. Six cases yes, sir. for filing. No, wala pa na pa file. Wala pa po, sir. Yung mga baril, ano, ano, na po, saan na pupunta yung mga baril pagkatapos? We surrender them to our crime laboratory for ballistics examination. At pag natapos doon, saan na pupunta yan? Uh, it will be in the custody of the crime laboratory, Your Honor. And in the event that the same will be presented in court. Or ang, ang, ang worry ng Senate is baka nire-recycle. Para magamit ng polis ko pagka may saan tinatapon. That has been known to happen. Is that correct? Uh, well, in my experience, sir, uh, we document the turnover. We uh, set the that, proper chain of custody. I'm just saying that you, you know that this has happened. There are saan. insinuations, Your Honor. Uh, you know, hindi lang sa sine, pero sa nangyayari yan, may binabatong baril pagka nakabaril para, you know, no? And that's what we want to do. The, the, the less firearms there are, the better na nakakalat, right? Yes. Can you give us a list of these firearms? And, yes, uh, Your Honor. And their serial numbers? Yes, Your Honor. And can you give us, uh, you're reading from a document that you have there of yes, the Honor. 200 as of this date. No? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, 254, right? Yes, Your uh, Honor. Can you give us a copy of that? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, can I instruct and uh, properly mark uh, this? Nasa na ba tayo ang exhibit? Z. Okay. All right. Uh, now, normally, do you tell the mayor? Mayor, may binaril ngayong gabi dito kaya at that particular time. Yes, sir. We submit a regular report of our operations on a daily journal, sir, submitted to the city. Hall daily journal. For the information of the city government. Journal. Would that help if the mayor was told, may baril ko ngayon, may namatay dito? For example, in my area, in the Red Cross compound in uh, Port Ere, I'm complaining about this. Yes, Your Honor. Ilang beses na nagbabarilan doon, tatlo, apat na namatayan ata doon. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you're familiar with that place? Yes, Your Honor. 
In fact, may, may umaakit doon sa mga kuryente ng Red Cross at uh, mayroon pang lineman ng Miralco Binaril patay. Yes, Your Honor. You are aware of that? Yes, Your Honor. It was uh, brought to my attention, Your Honor. And when it went to your attention, did you catch anybody who killed that lineman? Yes, uh, Your Honor. If I may be allowed to check my Please records. Please do that. In fact, last Friday, based on the information provided by my regional director as given by the Honorable Senator, uh, we conducted operations at the vicinity of Red Cross area, Your Honor. Over the last several months. Wherein an operation was conducted by the Manila Police District resulting to the neutralization of a suspected robbery holdup uh, person. There also, a person was killed and the recovery of a 38 caliber pistol in his possession. All right, I will, yes, sir. That is, I, I don't want to put that in my vocabulary, but anyway, it's, yes, it's sir. Uh, what they call practice. Uh, not to, uh, yes, sir. So, robbery suspect shall be Yes, sir, Your Honor. And uh, he was the one who. Eliminated or killed this uh, last Friday, Your Honor. Uh, union, ah? Yes, Your uh, Honor. Okay, great. Uh, that's good to know. Uh, na nahuli niya na yung nagpapatay doon. Have you ever conducted uh, a raid, for example, in layers like that where they would have drugs? Normally, may mga drugs dyan, di ba? Normally. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, that's part of our Oplan Galugad as uh, mandated you know, by our and, and The one thing that the public fails to see sometimes, and I'm not saying that this should be an attitude that we should foster na purke may drug pusher or drug addict doon, eh, pinapatay na sila. The one thing I'd like also the public to know in fairness to the policemen yes. is that many of the areas that you're raiding, kasi nagkakaroon ng kulay ng class war eh. May hirap lang ang pinapatay. Right? Di ba? Kasi karamihan talaga from the lower end of uh, the economic ladder, di ba? Yes, sir. Ang napapatay. Because sila ang either user or pusher. But what is the reality on the ground? Ano ba reality on the ground? Doon ba sa mga lugar na yan, dyan sa mga tondo o yung mga dati ng mga areas, halimbawa dyan sa iba mga lugar dyan, meron mga talagang uh, uso dyan ang droga. Is that correct? Yes, Sir Honor. Sa Maynila, saan saan ang droga? Based on the report provided to us by PIDEA, the most affected barangays are in the tondo district in uh, Manila and also in Which uh, part of Palabay. Tondo? Pritil? Uh, on the western part, Your Honor, yes. In Baseco, in... Uh, Baseco, malapit sa amin yun. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, yes, Your Honor. pa ako ng disaster yes, dyan, no? Uh, so, yung mga lugar na yan? Yes, Your Honor. Eh, sinasabi ko lang yan para in fairness to the police, talaga kung magkamis pag makahuli nyo, may nababaril, talaga maraming droga dyan. Now, what yes, is the source? Why? Why are these people in drugs? Uh, Wala na pera eh. Bibili pa na. Magkano siya bunga yun? Mahal na siguro, no? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I think based by PDEA estimate, it will amount to 5,000 per gram. 5,000? 5, 5 to 10,000 per gram. And before this incident occurred, magkano dati ang drugs? Mga, ang mga, droga? Mga 3. Uh, general? Uh, 1,000 to 3,000 per gram, Your Honor. So, tumaas ng almost uh, 40%? Yes. I would, that's the based on the reports we received, Your Honor. Sabi nga, 25,000. Sabi nga, isang dyaryo eh. 30,000 pa nga nabasa ko eh. Your Honor, um, di ka naman gumagamit kaya hindi ka naman imbili. Had uh, ganap, uh, uh, before the uh, Duterte administration, uh, the price of Shabu ranges from uh, 1,200 to 13,000 depending on the place. 1,200 to uh, 13,000, Your Honor. One depending gram? Depending on the grade. Ah, uh, Yes, uh, Your Honor. Uh, uh, 1,300 uh, to uh, 13,000 uh, pesos per, uh, per uh, gram, Your Honor. Ganon kamar. Yes, Your Honor. And then uh, the recent, the, the uh, most recent uh, reports that we received from our field office, it, it, it's, uh, it now ranges from uh, 1,200 to 25,000, Your Honor, uh, depending on the place. So if you uh, get the average, that will be... Uh, the the, uh, the price of uh, of uh, shabu has uh, has doubled. I go back to my question. Bakit maraming drugs yung sa lugar na yung kung wala pera? Sila sila na bibili ang ganon ba? Understand that uh, most of the 
members of the distribution network of drug syndicates come from those areas, Your Honor. So but who did, what's their market? The markets will be coming also from the city the of... The neighborhood? Manila. Yes, Your Honor, from the neighborhood. If there are no people, they will get money. Precisely why uh, we are correlating the incidence of robbery and theft incidents to drug abuse. And I'm drug just trying to honor. let you explain to the public kung sila sila nagdo-droga, ang masama sa droga, kung wala pera, namimili sila ng droga, yes, sir. nanganganak ng crime. Yes, Your Honor. That is our analysis for the past. And usually yung crime will be robberies and, and theft, Your Honor. So kung maraming droga, maraming robberies and theft. Marami nang aagaw ng cellphone. Yes, Your Honor. Marami nanunutok ng kutsilyo sa jeep. Yes, Your Honor. So, yun ba talaga ang experience nyo? Well, for the past three months, our records show that uh, there is a yes, marked right. decline or decrease in the number of robberies. And that's and the reason why there's a 49% decrease no? yes, in crimes Honor. against property. Yes, Your and Honor. And even crime against persons. Diba? Yes, Your Honor. So, because you are now able to stem the flow, and because it has become expensive, less people... Are you using it? Would that be fair? Or would have probably transferred to other areas wherein uh, the anti-drug criminality campaign is not as harsh or as... So, kung maluwag, let's just say, sa ibang lugar, katulad, yes, let's sir. say, sa... Somebody please uh, operate that. Because I I only got the top ten here. Yes, and to me, yung trend natin, halos pareho, mataas lang kayo. Meron mga lugar na zero, na mamatay. Somebody operating this? <coughs> Ayan, oh, ayan, may zero, ayan, lada, ano rin? Ah, copies, zero. Baka, <laughs> baka tamad daw yung uh, provincial director. Ayan, oh, uh, bukid doon, zero. Ayan, wala si May uh, Subiri, no? Senator Subiri. Copies, zero, uh, Northern Samar, zero. Di ba si Jaguar dyan nag-operate? Cebu. Spinoza. I'm sorry, Spinoza. Or Region 8, Your Honor. Oh, pero kasosyo niya dati si Spinoza, di ba? I'm not privileged to the information. Oh. Oh. <coughs> And then, sa Sulu, zero? <laughs> Aniniwala ka ba doon? Yan na lang. La Peña, aniniwala ba kayo? So, <laughs> I mean, to me... Either hindi nag-operate yung polis ninyo na nakakahuli sila o may... Uh, there, are, there is an... Uh, I don't know if it's an unfair comment I, I here. A, may I interject, uh, Mr. Chairman? Go ahead. In, in which uh, area are you succeeding? Yung meaning uh, sa demand reduction or sa supply reduction? Mas, mas saan ng uh, evident yung success ninyo sa drug operation? Sa supply or sa demand? Yes, sir. I can only speak for the city of Manila, Your yes. Honor. I think uh, in the supply reduction, supply, Your Honor, because we were able to address the problem in the street level, at the street trafficking level, Your Honor. Are you still are able to arrest people sa Manila for yes, drug sir. possession? Marami pa. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, thank you for that uh, opportunity. Uh, I would like You're to welcome. inform the good body that uh, more than the neutralization of police suspects, we have already arrested a total of 1,695 drug users, pushers for the past Three months, Your When Honor. you arrest a drug pusher, I imagine you catch him in flagrante delicto with uh, drugs. Yes, Your Honor. With shabu. Yes, Your Honor. In the act of using the uh, drugs, particularly in drug dens, we have uh, raided and then the resulting the arrest of the suspects, Your Honor. Oh, it's, uh, yes, Your Honor. There all been uh, cases have been filed in court. Pero araw-araw, parali pa o tumatas pa o On the average, sir, ma'am, every day, sir, mga about 25 arrests to 30 arrests every day. So, marami pa rin? Marami pa rin po, sir. And they're all, do, do, you, do you have a crime map, I suppose? Yes, Your Honor, they do, sir. Can you, can you present us a crime map? Ay. Saan ang crime map sa pinakamaraming drugs sa, say, sa Manila is number one, eh? Dami na patay, dami na patay yes, dito. I don't have it right now, Your Honor, uh -huh. but uh, I, I understand uh, 92% of the city of Manila is affected by it. Uh, the use of illegal 92% drugs. of Manila is affected by drugs. And yes, I mean, have you made a dent on that? I, I understand, Your Honor, uh, through, the F, through our efforts and with the support of the local government, we'll be able to clear a uh, few barangays for the past three months. I think about 120 barangays. Let me ask you a question now. Uh, do you see a higher incidence now of resisting, resistance with firearms by the pushers? 
I would think so. Yes, sir. No, no, I don't. I don't know what you. I, I, don't, I don't. I'm not interested in what you're thinking. Yes, We're not in the business of speculating yes, here. Yes, sir. Because of the activities here, yung bang inaarresto na mga police ng bayan ay pagkaho. Aresto may baril na yung karabihan. Because ang dami nyo na kuwang baril. Yes, sir. Sa 200, halos sa 190 ba? 195, Your Honor. 195. Lahat yung baril. Yes, Your Honor. Ilan ang palting? I do not have the records with me, Your Honor, as to the... Pero, these are serious firearms, no? Hindi palting. Yes, Your Honor. Hindi sumpak. Ako, I have a... Hindi naman malicious question. Why would there be more dead persons than firearms? Because in instances, Your Honor, I don't just don't have to stop because... No, sir. There are suspects who are using bladed weapons also, Your Honor. Bladed weapons. Yes, Your Honor. So not all 200 killed during police operations armed with the firearms. With the firearms. I was about to ask that because... Yes, Your Honor. May kulang nga. Yes, Your Honor. I was going there because... Uh, sumpak, meron ba? Yes, sir. Meron improvised shotgun, Your Honor. Improvised shotgun. Yes, so, Honor. when you say shotgun, ilan doon ang tunay na shotgun, ilan doon ang sumpak? I, I don't have the records, Your Honor, but I can furnish you. In can you uh, estimate, more or less? Um, yes, Kasi kung kumikita sila sa drugs, makakabili sila ng magandang barrel, di ba? <coughs> I just, allow me to check my Because mind. the next question right now, I'm going to ask, and I'm going to make you prepare for it, kung ganun karami ang barrel, saan sila namimili ng barrel? Is that fair? Yes, Your Honor. <coughs> Kung may baril sila, may bibili ng baril. Dahil maraming pera, may baril. Eh, hanggang nga sa loob ng punting lupa, nakakakuha ng baril eh. Dami pa. Sa I thought, I thought, uh, Sir, yeah, go ahead. Sa Pidea, ganun ba? Sa, kasi Manila yun eh. Yung uh, sa demand uh, reduction and supply reduction, saan field kayo mas nagsasaksid? On a nationwide uh, scale? It is more on the uh, supply reduction, Your Honor. Sa supply din? Yes, supply. Sir. So, ano, na Anong percentage sa ano yan? Yung success rate nyo? Yung, yung effect sa supply reduction saka sa demand reduction, more or less, paano nyo makukumpare? Say, kung 100% yung kabuuan, Ilang percent yung uh, apektado sa on the supply side at saka do sa market sa market side sa demand. I would say uh, it it will be a um, a 45 to 55 uh, percent ratio your honor giving weight more on the uh, demand reduction because uh, uh, when we say uh, demand reduction this is, this concerns people your honor. Yes. And when we uh, are able to uh, when on the demand reduction side your honor it is about uh, the um, Pre uh, preventive education, the um, uh, rehabilitation centers, and then uh, you have the um, um, uh, the um, um, the organization mob mob mobilization and getting the people involved in uh, the uh, in the in this fight against drugs. And when we have that situation. Uh, this is um, then uh, when we have the people uh, awakened and uh, get involved in this fight against drugs, then we, we will have a better chance. Or be so there's a 45 percent uh, reduction in the demand for uh, shabu, for example, ganon, or 55 percent. Uh, so, I don't know, 45, 55 more. Uh, uh, the, the weight, uh, the uh, the uh, the importance of the uh, supply uh, compared to the uh, yes. demand reduction. So, ilan ang reduction sa demand side? Bumaba yung demand kasi takot na sila or ayaw na nila magsyabu. Ilan yon Ilan percent? Say, in a, in a 100% uh, uh, pie. Ganon na-reduce yung demand? Siyempre, alam na nagkakapatayan, hindi na sila bibili kasi baka madisgrasya sila, hindi ba? So sabi mo, yun ang 45%? That sabi mo, sa supply mas nabawasan eh. Well, um, I would say, Your Honor, that uh, uh, if we will base it on the uh, on the price of shabu, which gone up, then uh, that will mean that uh, the the scarce yung supply. Yes. The, the if we go yes, by yeah. yung the law of supply and demand, no, yeah. hindi ko rin ma-explain ito eh. Kasi kung marami ng umaayaw, ayaw na maggumamit, bababa yung demand. 
Kung mababa ang demand, bakit tataas yung presyo? Eh, wala nga nagde-demand. So, bababa dapat ang presyo, di ba? But of course, there's the other uh, approach, ano? kasi two-prong dito. Kung kukunti na yung supply, kasi nga na, ayaw na mag-manufacture, ayaw na, wala na pumapasok ng mga precursors, uh, etc., etc., scarce kayo yung supply, tataas yung presyo. Pero dahil mababa naman yung demand, bakit sobrang taas umabot na ng uh, ilan? Uh, 25,000 na per gram ang uh, sa high, yes, high end. Yeah. So how, how would you explain that if we analyze it on the basis of the law of supply and demand? Well, um, well, um, uh, <laughs> kasi demand. constant yung uh, demand. Hindi na buwasan. Pareho pa rin hindi demand. Wala na supply. Naturally, tataas yung presyo. That's right, Your Honor. But kung nababawasan din yung demand, maski nababawasan yung supply, hindi gaano maapektuhan yung presyo. Di ba? Yes, Your Honor. Kasi walang, walang takers, walang buyers masyado eh. Nabawasan, say, 100 dat dati yung gumagamit. Natakot na yung... Okay, namatay na yung sampu. Natira ngayon, 90. Doon sa 90, natakot yung uh, 50 na iwanan 40 na gumagamit. So, konti na lang yung bibili. Bakit tataas ang presyo? Yes, Your Honor. Maybe, the, uh, I would say, may, uh, Your Honor, that the, the, uh, the effect of the uh, demand uh, reduction activities uh, will be uh, felt a little uh, later. For example, uh, rehabilitation. Uh, on the reha rehabilitation, that, uh, that uh, uh, it will take uh, uh, six uh, Yes. But yeah. remember that more than 700,000 drug users have surrendered. Di ba? And maybe, hindi naman kaya i-accommodate lahat ng rehab centers yon. So yung iba, self-rehab. Self no? Withdrawal na lang. So kung 700,000 users out of 3 million, that's a big dent, di ba? So bakit mataas pa rin ang presyo? Even assuming na yung supply, nabawasan, kasi wala nang masyadong uh, nagagawa mga laboratory bakit tataas yung presyo pa rin nang ganong kataas pwede mag-spike yung, uh, yung, yung price pero hindi ganong kataas kasi nabuasan yung market mo yung merkado eh. uh, can you make an analysis yes, your Honor, and submit uh, to the committee kasi mahirap magkwenta mentally eh. yes, your, diba? your Honor. Um, well of hand via your honor um, Well, maybe the the the, the uh, demand uh, reduction, the supply reduction uh, has uh, is uh, more effective than the demand reduction. So that's why the uh, price of uh, the shebu has gone, gone up. But we will make a, a study, Your Honor, and we'll yeah, present based, it. Based on the study. Tapos, teka, na-redefine nyo na ba yung uh, affectation, yung barangay affectation? Kasi I understand, kaya 94% or 93% sa Metro Manila na mga barangays affected kasi isang user lang sa isang barangay e eh, drug affected na and I suggested no, in one of our meetings i-redefine ninyo otherwise hindi kayo aalis ng 100% drug affectation maybe magkano ka ng threshold yung talagang pag affected affected yung barangay hindi yung affected isang tao buong barangay affected na hindi ba? ano ba yung ano yung ano nyo dyan? how would you redefine? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, we now uh, define the affected barangays into uh, three uh, categories, and uh, these are the uh, seriously affected, and then uh, moderately affected, and slightly affected. And then uh, on the uh, seriously affected, it will uh, it will mean that uh, there is a presence of at least one clandestine uh, drug laboratory or marijuana plantation in the community. Uh, reported presence of more than 20 percent of the barangays uh, total population population are drug personalities. Yes, uh, Your Honor. And then uh, for a moderately affected um, barangay, it will mean that uh, there are 2% or 20% of the barangay's total population are drug personalities, meaning users, posters, or financiers. And then slightly affected, it will mean that uh, less than 2% of, total, uh, of the total barangay population are drug personalities, Your Honor. So because you have redefined, nabuwasan ba yung drug affectation? Um, ano na ngayon ang statistics ninyo? How many barangays out of, out of the 
42,036 barangays all over the country. Ilan na lang o how many percent na lang ang drug affected based on your redefinition of drug affectation? Uh, there, there is a uh, uh, there is an ongoing uh, uh, <coughs> survey again, your, your Honor, based on the new on this new uh, definition of drug affectation, Your Honor, and we will uh, we will also submit our report uh, okay. as soon as it is obtained. Your Thank Honor. you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just have a few questions by, uh, to the doctor, uh, to uh, uh, Colonel, to General uh, La Pena. Let me cut to the chase here. <coughs> Dumami and drugs. Bakit hindi natin nasawatayan dati? Ngayon, sumobra na tayo. We have to resort to certain things. How do we prevent that from happening? Would you say, or I'll, I'll, I'll ask one question. One Would you say, uh, Chief Superintendent, we're winning in Manila? In your jurisdiction? I would say in the in tactical spite of level, your, uh, yes, sir. Position? yes, sir. At the tactical level, at the street level, I believe we are, sir. I can uh, firmly stand on the record of the Manila Police on this. You're winning. Yes, sir. When are you gonna defeat it? As long as we'll be able to clear all 92 barangays of drug affectation, sir. And, and how will you be able to clear it if the source of drugs, as, as Jonathan Lawson was asking, the supply keeps on coming? So still with our relentless uh, anti-criminality campaign, Your Honor. So you're just fighting fires? And in cooperation with uh, other agencies. Let me ask, uh, and I've asked you this before. At an earlier proceeding and a separate hearing, Sangaling on drugs. <coughs> Mainly from China, Your Honor. China. I heard somewhere North Korea. Ano ba yan? ba yan? Well, there was a mention of uh, North Korea by uh, J by uh, J B Sebastian during the congressional uh, hearing, Your Honor. Yeah, but uh, as far as our record is concerned, we did not have that information. Do you think the government is doing enough to stop the flow of drugs from China? I would say yes, Your Honor. Present. Uh, Present, uh, no, no, don't Mr. worry about President Duterte. We, we are... Because I know that there is some laro with China. What I want to know is what we can do to stem the, tra the tide of entree of drugs into the Philippines from China. Yes, Honor. No, uh, well, um, we have been uh, talking with our counterpart with uh, the uh, Chinese government, Your Honor, and... Uh, uh, on the international cooperation side uh, aspect of it. Uh, uh, that is one aspect. In our of that, and I even sent a note verbal. It's because of the, the FA. It's a note of the verbal in China. Do you have a chance to Yes. Well, um, <laughs> uh, po uh, uh, point of reference, uh, Your Honor, uh, I cannot say that uh, we, we have... Uh, uh, we have uh, Shabu or uh, precursors that have entered uh, since that this time that we have been started talking. All right, let, let, let me let me qualify. Ilan ang Shabu, ilan ang other drugs? Ninety percent ba Shabu? Yes, Your Honor. That's um, uh, that's. Uh, Are yes, you sure? Honor. Yeah, that's the uh, drug. Ano uh, ano ano susunod sa Shabu? It's marijuana, Your Honor. Marijuana. Uh, ilan ang ano marijuana? Of the hundred percent. 90% kamong Shibu, ilan na marijuana. The other day, you, uh, go ahead. We'll just uh, look into our uh, records, Your Honor. See, while you're looking at your records, I know you can do two things at the same time. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, uh, the other day, pumasok isang Chinese, Brazilian ba isa? Ang galing sa Brazil? Tatlo na huli ninyo. Nagpapasok ng cocaine at saka ecstasy ba yan? Yeah, yeah, yes, Your Honor. Um, uh, Anong nationality po yan? Ano, ano, uh, to uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese Hong Kong, Your Honor. From Hong Kong? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, and, and Russian. Isa, Russian. Russian. Yes, Russian. 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 Russian at saka dalawang Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong Chinese. Chinese. Yes, Your Honor. So, sa baka duwit, tuloy-tuloy pa yung pasok ng drugs hanggang ngayon? Y yes, or, yes, Your Honor. Um... Uh, well, um, these are the uh, true courier, couriers, but not the, uh, not the bark. Uh, May, maybe I've done a poor job at it, but I was asking the good chief superintendent a while ago. I, quite, I talked about the economic uh, situation in these areas. Very hard, no? 
uh, and then the other one so economic